Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of mprugs.com. Hope you and your family are doing well. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you to a type of handmade carpet. This is truly a unicorn. For those of you that are passionate, that have an interest in hand-woven rugs, I'm going to show you a rug that chances are most of you have never seen actually in your life. This is a carpet that actually has a very specific purpose and it features a pile with a unique design on each side. So this is a rug that has front and back and you can literally decide which you want to feature when you have it laying out. You have one side here. This is a classic Bukhara design. I'm going to explain, give you a little background about it in a little bit. And then on the other side, you have a very classic Turkmen design. And again, this is just absolute, this is probably one of the rarest types of handmade carpets that I have featured in our channel. I always look for unique pieces and through the growth of our channel, I have been blessed. I've had so many people contacting me who have had either inherited rare pieces or in this case right here, we had the opportunity to actually purchase one. And this right here is the epitome of what I think rug collecting is all about. This is the type of carpet that you really ought to be expecting to see in a museum or in a, a very special exhibit. But what makes this carpet so unique, again, you have a rug that literally features not only two cultures, but you have a rug that has the Turkmen culture, you have the Uzbek culture, and you have a Persian weave. And it literally, uh, this rug right here almost represents basically almost what I talk about in many of my videos. I've had so many people that have actually criticized me when I talk about Persian rugs and I have talked about Pakistani rugs, Afghan rugs, and people, you know, to me, I refer to them as Persian rugs because genetically we're all brothers and sisters. And here is a perfect example of a carpet that used to be referred to as a Persian rug. Then someone through over the centuries, you had all the warfare, you had countries, you have Uzbekistan, you have Turkmenistan, you have Iran, you have Pakistan, you have Afghanistan. Well, and here's a carpet that literally combines it all. And that is just absolutely phenomenal. Now, for those of you that you see this rug, you see the pictures, you see the designs and everything, in case you're wondering, um, you may have noticed when you look on the back of the rug, well, what I call the back of the rug, this is a silk carpet. The pile is made of what is known as mercerized uh, cotton. This is mercerized, very, very fine wool, but the foundation, the fringes, that's all silk. Now, before I talk about a little bit of background, I want to give you guys, um, for those of you um, that are kind of just wondering about this, I want you to imagine the mud homes in the tribal villages that you find throughout um, Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Pakistan. You know, you have these little villages and they typically have mud homes. Well, I want you to think of this rug as being in a home of someone who's like an elder, someone who is of a very high position and um, or wealth and I want you to imagine think about 
how do you install doors inside of mud homes? Just keep that in mind. Then you're, we're going to come back to this. But basically, to give you an example, uh, to give you a little background, um, I'm not going to give you a back history lesson. I don't want to turn this thing into a political discussion. But this design right here uh, is from the Turkmen people. That is what, and these a lot of these are also tribal people, sometimes nomadic in nature. But you basically have Turkmenistan that lies between two countries that are very known for the carpet weaving. You have Iran to the south and you have Uzbekistan to the north. And the Uzbekistan weavers, they are one of the most classic, best known types of carpets that they produce is the Fukhara design that you see on the back here. This right here is the Bukhara design. And I have talked about this design in some of my other videos. Um, so, but also, if you Google, and if you Google Bukhara rugs, you are going to see a whole lot of rugs that have this type of design with this reddish color is very, very classic. This is Uzbek at its best. Then, if you also Google Turkmen carpets, you will notice that there is this type of design. This right here is very classic with the Turkmen. And I do apologize, I got my back to you here. This is what I do in my videos. I don't do a whole lot of video editing. I do it all in one shot. So whatever mistakes I make, it's something I have to live with. And unfortunately, you're going to have to also, um, unfortunately, put up with. I don't like people that do a whole lot of cutting of videos and everything and basically try to uh, tape things together, slice and, slice and dice. That's just not who I am. I like to just, I want to be who I am. And so what you have right here, this is a Turkmen design. If you Google Turkmen rugs, you will see similar rugs and this is the type of rug, as I mentioned earlier, we talked about the mud homes, I mentioned that. You're wondering? Well, in the tribal areas, they used to use rugs like these as doors. I want you to imagine in a home you have, let's say, a typical setup would be like my grandfather's, he comes from a tribal village uh, by the Caspian Sea, they had two sitting areas. They had almost, uh, in, oftentimes in the old days, it would be women in one room and men in the other room. Well, they didn't have a door in between. And what they literally had was a carpet. This carpet would serve as a door. They would, you know, step aside, move it, and then pass on through. Well, if you're going to have a carpet hanging and it's going to serve to basically as a divider, you want to have something pretty to look at. You don't want to see the back of a rug. So that is why you have two different designs. And this is very, very difficult to make. This is very time consuming. In addition, you have silk foundation. Now, for those of you, and this is something that I've also been oftentimes asked about um, for my clients, they send me pictures of rugs and they think they're silk rugs. Well, when you look at the pile, when you look at the pictures, you're thinking that this is a silk pile, but it's actually mercerized cotton. This is very fine wool. This right here, this pile, is literally the same as the shirt that I'm wearing. This right here is also cotton. They treat them and to give it the very thin, very strong, but almost shiny 
feel this right here on my shirt this wool it's the same it looks shiny it looks like silk it's not some dealers will make a big deal about it and they actually sell them as silk carpets and this is also something that i have warned people about in my other videos about the uzbek the uh, Buhara rugs i've told them don't let them fool you it may shine at you it's not quite as uh, well no i'm not going to go there i was going to mention the cashmere rugs but that's a different story um, the Buhara rugs are simply just remember these are basically wool rugs typically on a cotton foundation. Now in this case right here, silk foundation. This is just, uh, like I said, for those of you that are passionate about the rugs, this is just an amazing piece. And it's an extremely, and like I said, it's a first for me. And now I have seen a couple, but not since I started the channel. This is something that again, that I have been wanting to showcase because it is such a unique piece. And uh, I'm trying to, there we go. I don't want to take away the beauty of the rug. And I also do not want to take up the clamps any more than necessary. But I wanted to showcase to you a type of rug that is truly just an amazing masterpiece. This is something that you can literally spend. If you, um, I recently met someone who's actually doing her doctorate thesis on the Persian carpet weaving culture and history and everything. This is something that you can literally write a book about. And But I wanted to showcase this work to you. There are many of you that are passionate about Persian rugs, and I cannot think of a better way to showcase a type of carpet that many of you guys are just about as passionate about as I am. Um, now, having said that, as I mentioned in all of my videos, um, if you have questions about a rug that you may have, feel free below in the description. There is a um, link to a video in which I show you what type of pictures I need and what size to be and everything, so you can send them to me. Also, feel free to subscribe to our channel. If you like, we typically like to add one or two videos a month to our channel. Um, and I also answer many of your questions. Uh, now, what I'm gonna do is, as I oftentimes do, I'm gonna actually lay this rug on the floor. I'm gonna show, I'll take a quick video, front and back, showcase some of the details and everything and then i'm going to come back to you and say my goodbyes if you need more information about this piece you can also visit us at mprugs.com and so i'm going to see you guys here again in just a second so here we are this time i'm going to just going to walk around now this is the turkman side and you can see just like in silk rugs there is a distinct difference between the light and the dark side you can also see the patina i'm deliberately not zooming in we're just looking at it from the side but you notice how this area right here is lighter than the right side this is do this is patina this is aging at its best and this is also where it's really important that these types of pieces are not in any shape or form repaired the, you, it, this is just something you want to this is also something that i mentioned to you guys um here we have this is a persian weave this is a silk foundation now for those of you that are wondering how they made this rug you literally have two weavers sitting front and back and synchronized weaving i want you to think of the olympic swimmers we have the synchronized diving well this is synchronized weaving so when the weaver weaves a single knot the other weaver on the other side has to weave the same and they literally have to work in sync 
Otherwise, you cannot produce this. This is why when you flip this over, and I'm just going to um, flip it over here. Um, let's, let's get the other side going. You notice there is no pile. Um, and now this is the Uzbek side. So this, for example, could have been a wealthy family where husband and wife, um, uh, bride and groom, one side of the family is from Uzbekistan and the other side is Turkmen. And so you have a rug that literally features both cultures. Just an absolute fantastic piece. Um, like I said, uh, this is something that for those of you that are uh, into Persian rugs or into just handmade carpets as I am, um, just absolutely amazing. Um, again, this is very, well, we're guesstimating. We are guesstimating that this dates to about the 50s. It is an older piece, completely untouched. This was a collector's item. This is what somebody had purchased. And the good thing about it is, even though this could go at an auction for tens of thousands of dollars, when we were offered it, um, and this is what we told them, this is such a unique piece that we may not even sell it. But if we sell it, we are not going to be selling it for the tens of thousands of dollars. It just wouldn't, it wouldn't be right. We were able to get it. The family was very, I guess they have been trying to sell this for a number of years and they weren't able to find anyone. And so when I saw this carpet, uh, yeah, like I said, you have such unique history of it. It's such a unique piece. Um, I just couldn't say no to it. So I hope you enjoyed the close-ups of this rug. I'm going to come back to you guys and say my quick advice. There, I hope that you enjoyed this video about what has got to be one of the most unusual types of Turkmen slash Uzbek slash Persian rugs. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure being able to hold this in my hand and being able to showcase it for you. Uh, again, I hope that this was hopefully as enjoyable to you as it was for me to create. Um, until I see you guys, I wish you the very best. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you enjoy our channel. I'm going to be coming back to you with many more videos to come. In the meantime, best wishes and take care.